that white lady said that I do not want to be served by a brown person. It just left a, a lot of emotional scars when it came to growing up. Multiple rounds of rallies have been held across the U.S. against the troubling surge of anti-Asian racism in the country. Racism is not only verbal or physical harassment and violence. It comes in different shapes and forms. Microaggression, stereotypes, and systemic discrimination towards certain ethnic groups all count. I've spoken with several people of Asian descent in the U.S., and these are what they had to say. I was waiting for a bus from my place to go to the University of Washington campus and I remember this lady who came and asked me for some money. First that woman was kind of begging for money but when I said I don't have cash, in return she started abusing me. She said, you know what, you know you people, immigrants, you come to our country, you know, you just make it a dirty place and you guys don't belong here. And I was very shook because it was the first time it was happening. Deep inside I was feeling very hurt that you know just because I come from a different place and that's kind of sad because Honestly, immigrants have a huge role to play in this country. And when these things happen, I just don't want to make myself the center of any legal battle that uh, that could just put more harm on my status as an immigrant in this country. I've been called a lot of times to ask me those questions. Hey, where are you from? I think that is a discrimination. And I, I told them I'm from California. They said, where do you really come from? <laughs> Right? And a lot of my ABC friends, the American-born Chinese friends, they've been asked those questions as well. Black American doesn't get asked those questions. White American doesn't get asked those questions. We do, all the time. In the United States, the original people, only local indigenous people. The rest of the people are all immigrants. It was when I um, visited some middle state, um, I visited with um, some other friends, and <laughs> when we stopped by a gas station to um, make a purchase, it was so obvious that the cashier just wouldn't talk to me. He refused to look at me. So we have a group of people, and you can see his eyes. He was like, say hi, say hi, skip, say hi. <laughs> I feel strange and I feel awkward. They, they still had this mindset that you had to assimilate with the American culture, which is, in a way, is white white American culture. So in a way, they wanted you to portray that model minority myth. It was a bit of a mental and emotional struggle. You know, for me personally, it, it just left a, a lot of emotional scars when it came to growing up. I used to work uh, for Warner Brothers as a contractor. Uh, data scientist contractor. We have like a data science team. Somehow we would just know how much each of us uh, are were being paid. All the Asian people are being paid way less, like around 30% less than those who were like w white uh, contractors. One of my friends, she working on the street, I don't know if it's in LA or, or Seattle, and she got yelled by like some random people on the street say Asian attack. Uh, another Indian friend of mine who had come to study, and um, she was doing a part-time work, you know, at one of the cafes at her university. Uh, this was a few years ago. And uh, while she was working, a white lady came in. And uh, while my friend was serving, you know, went on to serve the ice cream. That white lady uh, very blatantly said that I do not want to be served by a brown person. Everyone at the cafe was shocked. You don't realize the gravity of these situations until and unless they happen with you. That is sad that people randomly attack other people. It's not because this person did anything wrong, but it's because how the physical appearance is. And I think that has caused a lot more issue of like a lot of Asian American or just Asian, they really have trouble fitting into the society, regardless of how well they do intellectually, how strong their capability of doing anything. 